This is gonna be a really simple project, one that you can definitely do in a weekend. If you wanna build this project, I will have free plans and you can find them on my website. I'm gonna get started by first cutting all the parts to size. I'm building the cabinet out of three quarter inch birch plywood. Birch plywood's a good choice for painted projects, clear finishes, or stained projects, and you'll be able to find birch plywood at your local home store or your local lumber yard. One of the things that makes this project really easy is using pocket hole screws. This is an old jig that's no longer available, but the new ones work just as well. So the next step here is to make the face frame for the front of the cabinet. For the face frame, I'm using poplar wood. Poplar has very few knots. It has a nice tight grain, which is perfect for painting, and you'll be able to find poplar at all of your home stores or your local lumber yard. Here I'm using the bandsaw to put a slight taper at the bottom of the leg. If you don't have a bandsaw, you could use a jigsaw. I'll attach the face frame to the cabinet with inch and a half nails in the nail gun and a little wood glue. Now I'm using the router to put a quarter inch rabbit at the back of the cabinet. The quarter inch rabbit is a quarter inch deep and that's to accept the quarter inch plywood that I'm using for the back of the cabinet. After I finish with the router, I use a sharp chisel to square up the inside corners. Well, I'm just about finished with the cabinet. The last thing I'm gonna do is make the top. Again, I'm using three quarter inch plywood, birch plywood. And that's what I've used for the majority of the cabinet, except for the face frame, which is poplar, and the back, which is quarter inch. 
I'll cut the top to size and then I'll edge band the two sides and the front with iron on edge banding. I let the fill dry overnight, then I gave the cabinet a good sanding, and then I primed the cabinet with a latex acrylic primer. The next step is to sand the primer to get a nice, smooth surface. To keep up with current projects, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. For vlog-style Q&As and shop news, check out my second channel. I'll have links in the description.